Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Sanders just shared surprising update after McCain banned Trump from his funeral. And here we go again. The liberal media is trying to turn something around and blame President Trump. As most the whole world knows by now, Americans all over the nation will get a chance to pay their respects to the late Arizona Senator John McCain in what is being billed as multiple memorials planned to honor the six-term senator and war hero. McCain lost his battle to brain cancer on Saturday at the age of 81. But President Donald Trump will likely not be among the attendees since before his death multiple news outlets reported that the president was not going to be invited to McCain's funeral. Two White House officials even later confirmed to the Associated Press that the president was asked not to attend. Here is more via the AP. Trump tweeted that his deepest sympathies and respect went out to McCain's family. First Lady Melania Trump tweeted thanks to McCain for his service to the country. Presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama, who blocked McCain's own White House ambitions, are among those expected to speak at McCain's funeral at Washington National Cathedral. These were bitter contests, both of them said Senator Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona, and to ask them to speak at your funeral, and for them to be honored at the opportunity, that tells you all you need to know. Flake told CBS Face the Nation that McCain was quick to forgive, certainly put the good of the country above himself, and the fact that his former opponents will be there speaking says all we need to know. McCain died at his Arizona ranch after a year-long battle with brain cancer. A black hearse, accompanied by a police motorcade could be seen driving away from the ranch near Sedona where McCain spent his final weeks. For 50 miles along Interstate 17 southbound, on every overpass and at every exit ramp, people watched the procession. Hundreds, including many waving American flags, parked their cars and got out to watch. Congressional leaders announced that McCain would lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda, though they did not give a date. The nation mourns the loss of a great American patriot a statesman who put his country first and enriched this institution through many years of service, said Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, RKY. Arizona will accord McCain that honor on Wednesday, when he would have turned 82. This is a rare and distinct occurrence for a truly special man, GOP Governor Doug Ducey said in a tweet. Ducey does not plan to announce his selection of a Senate successor to McCain until after McCain's burial. Under state law, the governor's appointee to serve until the next general election in 2020 must come from the same political party. A statement from Ducey's office said that now is a time for remembering and honoring a consequential life. Trump's brief Twitter statement said hearts and prayers are with the McCain family. Trump and McCain were at bitter odds until the end. The president, who as a candidate in 2016 mocked McCain's capture in Vietnam, had jabbed at the ailing senator for voting against Republican efforts to roll back President Barack Obama's health care law. Earlier this summer, McCain issued a blistering statement criticizing Trump's meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Obama, who triumphed over McCain in 2008, said that despite their differences, McCain and he shared a fidelity to something higher, the ideals for which generations of Americans and immigrants alike have fought, marched, and sacrificed. Obama said they saw our political battles, even, as a privilege, something noble, an opportunity to serve as stewards of those high ideals at home and to advance them around the world. Bush, who defeated McCain for the 2000 Republican presidential nomination, called McCain a man of deep conviction and a patriot of the highest order and a friend whom I'll deeply miss. Other tributes poured in from around the globe. French President Emmanuel Macron tweeted in English that McCain was a true American hero. He devoted his entire life to his country. Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, said McCain's support for the Jewish state never wavered. It sprang from his belief in democracy and freedom. And Germany's Chancellor, Angela Merkel, called McCain a tireless fighter for a strong transatlantic alliance. His significance went well beyond his own country. McCain was the son and grandson of admirals and followed them to the U.S. Naval Academy. A pilot, he was shot down over Vietnam and held as a prisoner of war for more than five years. He went on to win a seat in the House and in 1986, the Senate, where he served for the rest of his life. He had a joy about politics and a love for his country that was unmatched, said Senator Amy Klobuchar, Democrat Minnesota and while he never made it to the presidency, in the Senate, he was the leader that would see a hot spot in the world and just say, we need to go there and stand up for that democracy, she told CNN's State of the Union. Former Vice President Joe Biden, who developed a friendship with McCain while they served together in the Senate, said the Arizona lawmaker will cast a long shadow. The spirit that drove him was never extinguished. We are here to commit ourselves to something bigger than ourselves, 
Biden said. The Senate's top Democrat New York's Chuck Schumer, said he wants to rename the Senate building that housed McCain's suite of offices after McCain. As you go through life, you meet few truly great people. John McCain was one of them, Schumer said. Maybe most of all, he was a truth teller, never afraid to speak truth to power in an era where that has become all too rare. But now TMZ is trying to shift the blame on President Trump by asking White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders if the president will be attending McCain's funeral. Let's be honest here, Donald Trump will not be attending McCain's funeral. McCain didn't want Trump there and I doubt Trump would even want to go since the president has shown multiple times that he is indeed on the side of the regular American. The same American whom McCain campaigned on getting rid of Obamacare and then turned around at the last moment and made Obamacare his own by being the senator who actually saved Obamacare from a full repeal. The worst part about all this is that former President Barack Hussein Obama, who beat John McCain to the presidency in 2008 is invited. And Obama is rumored to have been given the honor of giving the eulogy at McCain's funeral in D.C. This fact is all we ever need to know about Senator McCain. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.